Yo, what's up, guys? It's Brother Shield here. They were actually gonna play um part two, or at least um uh episode two. Oh, okay, not really two, but um really SOCOM two. So um in the last video, I did SOCOM three, so I thought like um well, it was also requested by um the uh, coffee he wanted me to do one or the other, but I thought you know what, why don't we just try both? So um yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the game. So um yeah, we're not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna see if we can jump. I think we already got a glitch. Was glitch? Oh, that black screen. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, the worst thing is if this game was to crash. And that would be the worst possible outcome. Cause, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. There are some games that pretty much literally don't go in-game. I mean, there are some games that don't boot at all. But even if you do go in-game, some, sometimes it displays a white screen. A white screen. I don't know why, I'm, why my mouth is acting a bit funny. But yeah, sometimes it will, it will just show a, a complete white screen and then it will show like an error message and then you're forced to go back. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen in my videos. So, yep, hopefully, yep, we should be able to play. That slot. Okay. Not waste time. In fact, let me see if I can just... Pop. Okay, let, let, let me bump up the volume, actually. I was hoping to some, see some intro. Okay, same intro. So, I'm I'm hoping that we'll get a similar frame rate from the last SoCom... Dot com, SoCom videos that I've done. So yeah, bump up the volume and let's go. So we're now getting 35 frames a second, just the intro. Okay, now it's going up to 60. Okay, getting somewhere. Right, getting at least close to 40. Again with the lines, that needs to be fixed.
Okay, that was the intro. That was just in case um in case we don't get into the game, which is highly unlikely. Uh with the as um the past so calm has been working so well. Um yeah, I just thought we should pro probably just watch um the entire opening video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the game. Just bump down the volume right here. Tenant Commander. Okay. Again, 60 frames per second, which is good. Practice analog control, classics. And okay, I prefer do practice. Yeah, button times. Save controller config. Would you like to save? No. Again, I'm not going to be too worried about the memory cards. It's going to be more focused on how the game runs and speed. We are getting audio, but no visual. Okay, let me pause, press start. Okay, let's see if we can skip that scene. Yep. I think we're US able to skip Special that Operations scene. Command. Floyd. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't think we could watch that scene. For some reason, I think it's I think it's pretty much a glitch. So yeah, 60 frames so far. Um let's hope we stay 60 as we go in game. So without further ado, it's time to go to war. Gears of War. Gears of War, yeah, there we go. Just making sure the mic is working. Yep, everything's good. Cool. Okay, unfortunately, we are getting 40... Or at least let's say around 40 frames per second 40 to 45 um yeah the a cutscene is obviously playing in the background however not getting any visual so i'm gonna press start and hopefully skip the cutscene okay hopefully that skipped that cutscene but we can go in game so the cutscene definitely needs to be fixed getting slow wow has to provide utilize that information in carrying out your other primary objective. This is literally the slowest game I've played. Three frames per second. I've never seen a gun this slow before. Except when it's staving. That's different, but still. Never seen a gun this slow. Head for the extraction point and exit the area. Area. Good luck. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Now it's basically the play emulator. Uh no offense, but still. Um yeah, we are getting like three frames per second, which is surprising. Consider the last um SOCOM games uh we got so much higher frame rate. Wait, what's going on? Uh Definitely it must be a glitch. I mean uh, definitely there's no way it's my <laughs> my um shield. Because, yeah, three frames per second, although we have less glitches, I mean, well, not the um, past glitches, I'm talking about in-game. Um, so far, I don't see any geometry um, or lines or black, anything, no, um, the water is pretty much rendering, hold on, let me bring up the analog here. Man, even the analog's slow, what's going on? There we go, actually. Yeah, so we can see the water's rendering, well, the water's pouring out. Uh, there's hardly... Oh, damn it! What's going on? Oh, it's moving on its own. What's going on? Man lost control. And the audio has stopped. I don't want to press X to abort. Just yeah, I want to see if we can actually go in-game or it's probably just this cutscene. Let, let me see if I can just press start and... Uh... Nope. Like, I am forced to watch this cutscene. Or this quick cutscene. But at least we can go in-game. I just don't know how the gameplay... Well... Okay, now we have glitch. Nice. So the audio is um, pretty much played out through. I mean, the audio tends to work fast, but the frame or the scene itself, not so much. So there is glitch. I do expect that. But games with more, like, uh, uh, how do I say? Um, Technically, with more glitches, the game tends to run faster. But less glitches, again, it tends to run slower. So, uh, I always have to make sure I say that in my video, just in case you you guys are new, or some of you guys are new, um, I always have to try and, you know, 
uh, bring awareness. Hey, music's starting to play. Three point five frames per second. Wow, man. I mean, this is the first time like I've seen it this low. I mean, I, I was expecting this thing to crash already. If I'm being honest, I was, I was really expecting a, an error message to pop up. I have no idea what's going on here. <sighs> All right. Try to skip this. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna press abort. I'll just try and get. Wow. Even oh, okay now even when I press start or oh, okay about now that we're moving, it is seriously slow. And also wow. Yeah, so come three and the uh, first one seems to be working at a much faster frame rate, but two. Wow. Woo! Slowly, slowly, slow. Two frame, 2.9 frames per second. Let's get one frame. Yeah. Uh, it just keeps going slower. The more geometry we see and the more textures. You must locate the informant. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to pretty much end the video here because we'll be here all day if we'll try to play the, the first level. So, let me know what you guys think about this game, um, SOCOM 2. Uh, let me know, yeah, what, let me know what you guys think about this game running on the Shield TV. Um, I definitely think this definitely needs, well, definitely needs work. So, it's safe to say that some heavy games or some big games are definitely going to have some huge slowdowns. I mean, I expect the slowdowns, but... Not to this level, two frames per second. Jeez, man. Wow, I am just wow. But anyways, guys, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys have a suggestion of a game you want to see running on the Shield tablet, um, Shield TV, not tablet. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, on the Shield TV, please let me know in the comments below. I'll try and um, reply to every comment. One, okay, one point nine. Now we got close to one. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, as always, if you're new to this channel, subscribe to Brother Shield. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.